The Huskies have just touched down in Minneapolis, and I have Coach Gino Ariama and also Paige Beckers with me. And this is not new territory for the both of them. This is where it all started. 1995, you won your first championship here. What does it mean to be back for your 22nd Final Four? Yeah, we were just talking about it today. It's uh, uh, It's been 27 years, I think, since, uh, since we were last here, and it was our first one, and uh, and one of the one of our assistant coaches, Jamel Elliott, was on that team. Um, and you know, Tara's still coaching, and we played Stanford in the first round. It's just funny how history repeats itself. And um, you know, this one means just as much as that first one. Um, you know, because these kids are experiencing it for the very first time. So um, it wouldn't matter where the Final Four was; you'd still feel that. But the fact that it's here, I think, is pretty special for for us at Connecticut, and I'm sure for Paige. Absolutely, the hometown kid. You're back in Minnesota. How does it feel to be back in this fashion page? It feels awesome. I mean, just the Final Four, the last experience that we had was in San Antonio and it was in the bubble. So this is a whole new experience and I'm really excited and it's going to be a lot of fun. Absolutely. I mean, what was fun was last night, that double overtime. How is this team kind of calmed down from those emotions and ready to tackle this business ahead of them? Well, you don't get much time to, to think about it. You know, we got home, I'm sure, you know, by the time everybody got home, it was probably two o'clock in the morning and uh, um, you know we're on the plane this afternoon so there really isn't much time but maybe that's good I think if we had to play if we had to play tomorrow we wouldn't be very good but uh, I'm glad we have a couple of days to kind of come back down to earth and get back to work yeah this team went through so many adversities with Paige you sat out for two months but you are playing your best basketball at this point you are locked in describe how you locked in you are in the final four coming up real soon yeah, I mean, just having that experience last year coming up short, you know what the feeling is like, you know what it takes to get over that hump. So I'm just trying to do whatever it takes to win this national championship. And just for you, Coach, one thing that's special about this group? I think how resilient they've been, um, how many um, how many times they've kind of been knocked back for a loop. You know, um, it's, it's different if you, you know, you lose one player and they're out for the year and, like, you can plan for it, okay. But when... You know, every week, you know, somebody else is going down and then you get somebody back for two days and you go, hey, we're getting better. And then somebody goes down for a week or two weeks. Uh, we didn't know whether we'd have Paige or AZ for the entire season. So the fact that we're here and they're healthy and they're playing, uh, you know, they, they've come through a lot and uh, they deserve to be here. The Huskies are continuing to dance. Thank you so much. We can't wait to see it on Friday, but we will have more March Madness women's basketball coverage all week long.